We are so much obsessed with finding happiness, pleasure, meaning, relief through external um, experiences that we have forgotten the great treasure of who we are. The Brahma Sutra tells Anandamayogyashat. Everyone is looking for pleasure. It's our nature. The bird, the insect, the plant, and every variety of human beings, we're all looking for fulfillment. It is because the nature of our spiritual self, the source of consciousness that's animating this body and mind is such an ananda. We are eternal. We are full of knowledge. And our nature is filled with happiness. The essential pleasure that we need is the pleasure of love. To love and to be loved. A little baby doesn't know so much intellectually about the world, but the little baby's most instinctive propensity is to seek love. And a mother's nature is to love her child. There are so many songs and so many um, movies and so many ways that we're trying to express the need for love. And the sadness, the heartbreak, the frustration, the emptiness of losing love. We understand what happens when someone we love dies or betrays us. It's a heartbreak that's more painful even than physical suffering because it is that love that propensity to love and be loved that is at the very heart of our nature. Spirituality, religion, yoga are beautiful gifts that we have been given to reconnect our conscious awareness with the love that is within each and every one of us. To express that love or to seek honestly and earnestly for that love. This is called karuna or compassion. The greatest need in the world 